In the 13th century, after the Chinggis Khan invasion, Bukhara was seriously destroyed. Now I am in the part of the Bukhara. The name of the complex is Kalon, it means great. And that minaret is the highest minaret of Bukhara. Uh, the altitude of the minaret is 45 meters. And the minaret was built in the 11th century. I had two lovely nights and two lovely dates in Hiva. About Hiva, I already uploaded the video to my YouTube channel. I had a morning train from Hiva to Bukhara. From train station of Bukhara, I had a taxi to the old town. I paid about 5 US dollars. I have checked in the guest house Nigina with very good conditions, with good breakfast and with very good location, where in the next day I started the sightseeing in noble Bukhara. Good morning everyone, uh, I'm going to start the sightseeing in the noble Bukhara or in old Bukhara. Usually we guide start our sightseeing uh, from the mausoleum of Samanids. Usually we come to mausoleum of Samanids by bus or you can get the taxi and from mausoleum of Samanids we do the sightseeing by walking. The first place is going to be unique mausoleum of Samanids, which was built in the 10th century. That because the capital city of the Samanids dynasty was the city Bukhara. Mausoleum of Samanids is located in the park. Initially, this park was biggest cemetery of old town. The mausoleum was built in the 10th century from baked bricks. The Samanid mausoleum is unique. Mausoleum has unique ornaments which relates with Zoroastrian religion and the mausoleum of Samanid has four entrances. From the inside, the mausoleum has unique ornaments on the walls that you will not find anywhere in Bukhara. The second place after the mausoleum of Samanids is the mausoleum of Prophet Job, which is like a hundred meters far from the mausoleum of Samanids. And nearby to the mausoleum of the Prophet Job, there is a local market or a local bazaar, which you also can visit. And I highly recommend you to buy all of the spices, dry fruits, anything which you need from this market. Price are negotiable and it's not so costly. But uh, usually it's better if you have cash with yourself in this market. Mausoleum of Prophet Job is located near the local bazaar. In local language we call this place Chashmayu Ayub. The building was built in the 12th century and it was rebuilt the several times. Inside of the mausoleum there is a spring. According to the legend, Prophet Job came to Bukhara and knock it with his staff to that soil three times and this beautiful spring was appeared where the pilgrims around the world coming just to have or to drink fresh water. Nowadays a mausoleum of Prophet Job is the museum of water. In local language we call this place Chashmayu Ayub which means the spring of Prophet Job.
Opposite the mausoleum, there is a local market where I advise you to go if you want to buy dry fruits and spices. I have just finished with mausoleum and with the local market and I'm going to visit the Citadel Arc and the Balahawos Mosque. There is a street which leads from um, Prophet Job Mausoleum to the uh, Citadel Arc and on the way there is a coffee shop that because I know that foreigner, foreigners they like to drink the coffee but in our country we still prefer to drink green tea. If you want to have a real coffee, like Americana cappuccino, it's better to buy it in the coffee shops. The Bolo House Mosque was built in 17th century and still active today. That is why you cannot go inside of the mosque. The mosque consists of 20 columns which made from wood. The mosque is located not far from Citadel Arc, where the local rulers prayed in Friday namaz with local peoples of Bukhara or with local citizens of Bukhara. I have just finished with the Bola House mask and now I'm going to come inside of the Citadel Arc. The foundation of the Citadel Arc has 2,500 historical years. And unfortunately, uh, after the bombardment of 1920 by the Red Army, only 25% of the territory of Citadel Arc uh, are exist. The 75, which was destroyed, uh, was not reconstructed that because uh, that site was built from wood and it's totally burnt. When you walk uh, to the Citadel Arc, first of all, you have to cross the gates where you have to buy the entrance fee. Then you have to walk through the long corridor. The name of the corridor is Dolon. From, you see, from the right side, you are going to see the rooms like this. This is the water room. Then in the 19th century, these rooms were the jail where Emir, our ruler, kept his close relatives and advisors who, I mean, which offended the ruler, let's say like this. Then the first building which is going to meet you on the entrance is going to be Friday Mosque, which was built in the 18th century. Now I'm going to visit uh, Coronation Hall uh, and the sleeping room of Emir. And nowadays in the sleeping room of Emir, there is a, a museum where it's possible to see very beautiful artifacts. And now I'm going to just come to the Coronation Hall and all of the negotiations which happened here in Bukhara was not so successful. Uh, everybody knows that at the middle of the 19th century, there was a great game between British Empire and uh, Russian Empire. And in Bukhara, two great British agents, Mr. Stodgart and Mr. Connolly, were executed by Emir Nasrullah Khan, which was very famous in the history of Central Asia, in the famous, I mean, in the history of Bukhara Emirate as a butcher. Inside of the Citadel Arc, you can see the ruins of uh, Citadel, which appeared uh, at the beginning of the 20th century, that because in 1920 there was a bombardment of Bukhara where Red Army used aviation bombardments with big cannons. And from these ruins, you can have wonderful view to the ensemble of Kalan, which is uh, not so far from Citadel Arc. I have finished it with uh, Citadel Arc and now I am going to go to the ensemble Kalan, which means great, which consists of one active madrasa, the minaret Kalan and the mosque Kalan. And the uh, 
on the way from Citadel Arc to Ensemble Colon, I highly recommend you to visit the jail or Zindan, which was built in Bukhara in 18th century. Zindan means back pit in the jail of uh, old Bukhara. There are several rules. Let's say in the jail of Bukhara, there are some debtor cells uh, where prisoners had to stay and that prisoners which committed the serious crime against the Emir of Bukhara, they had to spend their last day in the back pit in Zindan. Mr. Stodgart and Mr. Connolly, before the capital punishment, they had to stay in the back pit of Bukhara also. Ensemble Kalon is located in the heart of old town of noble Bukhara and still Ensemble is active. Kalon means great in Farsi. The tallest minaret of the old city is located in this ensemble. The height of the minaret is 45 meters and was built in 11th century. And also on the territory of Ensemble there is a Kalan Mosque and Mir Arab Madrasa which were built in 16th century. Madrasa is still active and we are not permitted to go inside of the Madrasa and walk in the courtyard. But you can go to the courtyard of Mosque Kalan which means great but you have to keep the strict dress code. Ladies had to cover their shoulders and hair and knees also should be closed. If you don't have an appropriate uh, dress code, don't worry. They will give you our national clothes as a rent when you want, if you want to walk in the courtyard of the Kalan Mosque. After the Kalan ensemble, I went to the towards of Labi House complex. On the way, I walked through the trading domes and I saw Madrasa of Ulubek and Madrasa of Abdulaziz Khan, which is twin madrasas in Old Town. The trading domes of Bukhara were built in 16th century, where you can still buy valuable souvenirs. These trading domes are open during the season from 10 o'clock in the morning, then to 10 o'clock in the evening. There are old hammams in Bukhara. In evening, you can visit and take spa. One of these hammams is located near the second uh, trading room. Bukhara is very famous with its craftsmanship. Knives, carpets, suzanes, any handicraft which you want. Starting from 16th century, Bukhara was chosen as the capital city of Shaibanese dynasty. Later, Bukhara became emirate where many craftsmen brought their craftsmanship and tried to sell in the territory of Karat noble Bukhara. I approached the Labi House complex, which is one of the famous places in old Bukhara. Labi House from Tajik means at the head of the reservoir. At the Labi House, you can see excavations that date back to the Mongolian invasion. Bukhara like other cities in Central Asia, seriously suffered and destroyed from Mongolian invasion. At the Labi House complex, you can see Kukildash Madrasa and Nodir Dewambigi Madrasa, which were built in 15th and in 17th centuries. And you can also see the statue of Hoja Nasriddin, which was erected in Old Bukhara in 1970s of the 20th century. Labi House complex has several restaurants and cafes where you can eat. I highly recommend you eat in the Labi House restaurant, which is located near the water pond. On the territory of the Labi House, there is a Jewish quarter, 
where we can visit Jewish synagogue and Jewish schools, which are still active. One more place which you can visit in Labi House is Master Shop, where masters of Bukhara are making the uh, puppets from Pape Mache. Another place which you can visit in Noble Bukhara is Chor Minor Madrasa, which is located not so far from Labi House. I spent my whole day in Bukhara in order to shoot a 15 minutes video. My first day in Bukhara is over. On the second day, I visited countryside. I will upload the countryside of Bukhara later. <laughs> 